Hi, I'm Darcy Drollinger, and this is Hot Trash, now on Oasis TV. That's right, honey, the bitch is back! Oh my god, did you guys see the season finale of America? It's season 244, and it might be the last. So, it all started when bitch baby in chief Donald Trump took credit for yet another Democratic accomplishment, winning the 2020 election. So instead of a peaceful transition of power, he sent out his winged monkeys to spread lies, including pervy Giuliani with his mysterious black ooze. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me today at the Four Seasons. Total landscaping. Um, I'm sorry, I'm still not over that. What the fuck was it? I mean, he looks like he just crawled out of the TV in the ring. Anyway, just when Georgia got flipped, we love you, Stacey Abrams, and a bunch of Republican co-traders were about to have their big scene, Capitol Police opened the gates and a swarm of far white American idiots stormed Congress. Turns out that the kid from where the wild things are grew up to be a real asshole. I mean, they were sitting at Pelosi's desk. They tried out all of Mitch McConnell's wigs. They even left snarky post-it notes everywhere. It was a major violation. So, Pelosi's like, sashay away, Trump. And Pence is like, um, I'm in a tunnel. You're breaking up. And Betsy DeVos was like, I quit. And Liz Warren was like, you suck, Betsy. We hate you. And then major a-hole Josh Hawley was like, they canceled my book deal. They're taking away my free speech. And the Constitution was like, that's not how free speech works, bitches. Because that's how the Constitution sounds. And then Twitter was like, we're only gonna take this for four years. Enough is enough. And then Parler was like, yoo-hoo. And all the tech companies were like, fuck you, you're grounded. And then all the social media banned Trump. How do you get banned from Shopify? Tell me. Now Republicans are like, hi, I'd like to return this violent insurrection I ordered. I have a gift receipt. And Democrats are like, no refunds, but we'll give you store credit. So yeah. That was the first week of 2021. I'm exhausted. Oh God. And now, celebrity bitch slap. Ow. Feuds on the View are nothing new, and that's especially true for these two. Boo. What? How oh, stupid. Megan McCain came back from maternity leave and introduced the ladies to her new baby named Liberty. You know, that is just like a white Republican woman to think that she gave birth to Liberty, but okay. Anyway, Joy Behar was not having it, especially during this exchange. Do you miss fighting with now, me? Now, if you look closely, you can almost see a human you. emotion across <laughs> her face. Right, right there, right there. I lost it, sorry. Oh well, never mind. Liberty still loves you, Megan. In fact, Liberty just made you a little present in her diaper. Ew. <laughs> smells like a big present. Wait, 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 wait. Did you guys see the Xena versus Hercules tweet battle? No. Okay, well, I'm gonna tell you all about it, and you too. So, like Kevin Sorbo is super right wing now and Lucy Lawless just destroyed him on Twitter. Just like she destroyed him in the ratings. I mean, how many characters is And now, talking trash. And here is one of the best trash talkers I know. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for my fabulous sidekick, Snacks! Oh. Hey girl, how you hey, doing? Good, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. This is a freaking crazy time, right? I know, but I'm glad we're back on Hot me Trash. Me too, me too. All right, so I have got to find out what is going on with Kim and Kanye. Oh yeah, there's so much tea, it's ridiculous. Okay, can you do it in 30 seconds? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, oh wait, wait. I also want to find out about gays over COVID. Have you heard about them? Oh my God, obsessed, all right, absolutely. All right, all right. So can you do Kim and Kanye in 15 seconds and gays over COVID in 15 seconds? Yeah, I think so. All right, all right, all right. All right, ready? Yeah. Set. 
go! Oh, God, okay, so this rumor started that Kim was gonna ask Kanye for a divorce because she's like, had it, officially. But then I guess, like, on TikTok, some 16-year-old, like, started this rumor, I saw it on Twitter, that Kanye and Jeffree Star were fucking, which is part of why Kim wants a divorce. And, like, seems not real, but, like, maybe. Jeffree Star came out with this YouTube video, like, exposing the truth that just, like, it never happened. And Angelica Ross on Pose reshared this old video of her and Laverne Cox basically saying there are rappers that are gay and like to hook up with trans girls, and they thought maybe they were talking about Kanye. How am I doing? Hurry! Oh, okay, okay, so, like, all these gays are sick of being cooped up in their houses, right? So they've been, like, traveling, girl, and there's, like, all these secret events popping up all over the country but for new year's they went to puerto vallarta and they're like publicly are posting all these thirst traps on instagram so there's an instagram account called gays over covid popped up and it's like a everyone's exposing each other and it's like super gay super spreader events and they're like all tagging them and they got hella mad because they're out for blood and they're like who is this account who is running it and then this account called gays over gays over covid popped up and saying that gays over covid was bullying and needed to be reported <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yes, next. You did it. I did it. That was not 30 seconds. Well, you know, I did my best. So All right. Give it up for Snacks. Mm. Snacks. Here, here. It's oh, for oh. you. Thanks. Hello. No. It's a social media shout out. Here are the winners and losers on social media this week. What happened to you? I got mazed. You got mazed? Right. Right place. <laughs> and what happened? You were trying to go inside the yeah, Capitol? Yeah, I, I made it like a foot inside and they pushed me out and they mazed me. What's your, what's your name? Where are you from? My name is Elizabeth. I'm from Knoxville, Tennessee. And why did you want to go in? <laughs> we're storming the Capitol. It's a revolution. We're in it. They pushed me on and paced me. cute outfits planned for this year that I couldn't wear. So I just wanted to show you. See this? I love it. I couldn't wear it. Love it. Couldn't wear it. Then there's this. Love it. Couldn't wear it. Love it. Couldn't wear it. And this was supposed to be my cute costume, but no. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for Power Trash! Yeah! <laughs> Wonder Woman 84 is a total snooze. Hey, I liked it. Oh, sorry. All right. Pixar's soul might have a few issues, but I guarantee it'll make you cry. But Netflix really came through in 2020. I mean, they started the year with Tiger King, then they made everyone fall in love with chess with Queen's Gambit. Loved that one. And then they ended the year with, wait for it, Bridgerton, narrated by a very warbly Julie Andrews. It's sort of like Downton Abbey meets Gossip Girl. But I haven't seen this much coming and coming inside on TV since, well, I guess ever. It's literally soft, softcore porn. Might as well be called Breederton. It's like Fifty Shades of Grey in Victorian times. Although with the amount of balls they have, figuratively and literally, and all of those naked male rear ends, it's more like Fifty Shades of Gay, or maybe Fifty Shades of Hey! But I digress, sorry. Look, I loved the series, obsessed, hated the ending, can't wait for season two. Gwen and Gavin get an annulment! Woo! Well, it's better than a divorce, because now she can marry Blake Shelton with the good Lord's blessing. But wait, didn't they have kids? So does that mean the kids are born out of wedlock now? Because, well, I know how kids are made. I saw Bridgerton. He came inside.
What is all the controversy about Alec Baldwin's wife? So her name is Hillary, not Hilaria. And she was born in Boston, not Spain. Who cares? I think the whole thing is hilarious. But sweetie, sweetie, it's called a cucumber. We have, um, a, how do you say, a cucumber? Cucumbers. And The Weeknd revealed his new face. Wow, God, too many fillers, sweetie. And that says something coming from me. Actually, didn't The Weeknd used to date Kylie Jenner? Oh my God, totally. Thanks, Snacks. Well, he's actually giving me Mickey Rourke vibes, you know, in The Wrestler. Wait, wait, screw them. We need a Britney moment. What's Britney been up to? Does anybody know? Um, her ex posted a selfie at the Capitol Hill riot. Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> Moving on. Sorry, girl. Your taste in men is toxic. And now, a cat does a thing. Thanks so much for watching Hot Trash on the new Oasis TV. I'm Darcy Drollinger. We'll see you next week, but before we go, here's one last trash. Ma'am, what, what happened to you? I got maced. You got maced? Yeah. 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 And what happened? You were trying to go inside the Yeah, bathroom. I made it like a foot inside and they pushed me out and they maced me. What's your, what's your name? Where are you from? My name is Elizabeth. I'm from Knoxville, Tennessee. And why did you want to go in? We're storming the Capitol. It's a revolution. <laughs>